Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. My voice continues to make its recovery, and we continue our series on the senses. Today, like a very good Italian, we focus on the gift of taste. We begin our series of the five senses with taste because the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That might be true of you women out there too as well, I don't know. But I know that one of the senses that I very much enjoy in my life, and I pray it's the same for you, is the gift of taste. So the fact that we can experience different flavors in our mouth, we put particular foods in, a beautiful glass of wine, a piece of cheese, a fresh fruit, a nicely cooked steak. If you're not hungry yet, you will be by the end of this podcast. The gift of taste is definitely a gift from God. Many people have talked about when they lose a sense of taste, perhaps they've gone to the dentist and their mouth is frozen. Or perhaps for some reason their taste buds have been affected by some sickness or whatnot. How our lives are different as a result of the fact that now we are just eating food as far as tasting it and enjoying the flavors. Well, that's been taken away from us temporarily. So God doesn't want us to just eat food. God wants us to enjoy it. And so God intended of giving us the ability to taste food so it becomes more like an experience. And so, friends, we are to have an attitude of gratitude today to allow us to thank God for the gift of taste. So what is something that you truly enjoy? What is something that when you place in your mouth, you realize how great God is. For me, in the summer months, like now, fresh piece of watermelon on a nice hot day just feels good in our mouth, doesn't it? Enjoying a wonderful meal with family or friends. The company is great, but when the food is good too, doesn't it just make the experience more memorable? For those wine connoisseurs, the difference between a cheap glass of wine and a very fine wine and how that can make your taste buds explode, especially when paired with the right food. Again, friends, God knows what he's doing. And he gave us the sense of taste to really enjoy his creation and how, as we are reminded in the book of Genesis, how God gives us so much in our day-to-day lives to be able to enjoy. So my prayer is before we would ever think of putting anything in our mouth, and I don't mean to say grace before putting in a piece of gum, but I mean a substantial meal, that we always first have an attitude of gratitude for the food that we are about to receive, the hands that have prepared it for us, but to first realize that this food is indeed a gift from Almighty God and how God not only wants it to nourish us, but he wants us to enjoy the great fruits of his labor, figuratively and literally. So today, friends, I want us to really have an attitude of gratitude for the gift of taste. Think of how taste has and will continue to enhance your life. And for those friends that have lost a sense of taste because of sickness, though it may not be your current experience, what's so beautiful about our memory and our imagination is we can continue to remind ourselves of the times in which taste has enhanced our life, even if it was in the past. The five senses, God's gift to us, especially the gift of taste. Let's spend some time today thanking God for giving us that gift. For God's Playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. 
God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.